Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm actually going to compare three Casio graphing calculators so that you can see similarities and differences, so that when you're trying to decide which one to buy, you kind of can make an educated um, decision. So we've got the three, the Prism on the left, the 9860 in the center, and the 9750 on the right. Um, one major difference is the Casio Prisms in color, but you'll see that um, for the most part they have the same layouts. Um, the calculators are a different size, so they're maybe more condensed, but they have the menu options, they have, and the Prism has a couple more menu options than the other two on the right, but for the most part, functionality is pretty much the same. Bigger calculator, more memory with the Prism, um, color with the Prism, but the functionality, we're going to do an example here to show you that the functionality of the three of them is very, very similar. Um, so we're just entering two functions here. You'll see we basically go through the exact same process. One of the nice things about Casio calculators is if you know the buttons and you switch the calculator, you're still going to know how to um, perform all the um, activities that you need. Uh, the scales, they don't change with the calculators. So we've entered the calculators, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the functions, and now we're going to graph. So you'll see the graphs are the same, and yet they look different because of the size of the screens. That's one difference, is there are different size screens. Um, but you'll notice we're going to show the intersection that we get the same menu options across the bottom by hitting function 5. I'm going to solve, I'm going to find the intersections, and you'll notice that in all three I can toggle between the two intersections in this particular example. The difference with the Casio Prism is that I can actually um, set those points and show the coordinates on the screen and I actually see my um, two graphs in different colors because of the color menu. But functionality wise they're pretty much the same. You'll notice now we're just going to get rid of those two functions. We do the same process on all three calculators. Um, so um, hit delete function one yes. The reason I'm doing this is to show you that there's an additional feature on the prism which is called the modify feature. And this is not available on the other two calculators but it's a great function. There's also this tool menu that provides some built-in functions that you'll notice are um, variables for the coefficients. So we're going to show you how the modify feature works. We're going to choose one of these functions um, and we're going to hit the modify button and you'll notice on the left that I have the variables for those coefficients and I can now change them one at a time um, by using my toggle key and you'll see that it allows the function to change and show what that particular coefficient is doing, how it's impacting it. This is uh, because of the memory on the prism, so the prism's memory is much more It's uh, compared to the other two, so it's uh, able to do these types of um, kind of dynamic mathematics. Um, so you'll see I can enter numbers and it changes. So this is a really nice feature on the prism. So if this is important to you, the prism might be the one to go with. Obviously, uh, things you need to think about are, do you want color? What size screen do you want? What cape, do you want more memory? So you would go with the prism on those cases. But functionality wise, for the most part, they all perform the same. Um, so let's go back to the menu. And you'll notice we're back in the main menu for all of them. We're going to go and show you another feature that some of them have and some of them don't. The first two calculators, the Prism and the 9860, show fractions, irrational numbers in their natural display, meaning they actually look like fractions, um, whereas the 9750 does not have that feature because of its memory capability. So you enter the fractions different, um, but once you have the fraction in all three calculators, you can toggle um, between decimal and fraction form. But the first two calculators have that natural display that the third calculator does not have. So if that's important to you, then you might choose the first two options as your uh, calculator. So obviously there's a lot of decisions to make. Cost might be an element, so obviously it goes from more affordable from the right to the left. But check out all the features on CasioEducation.com.